Okay, that was a very, like, really long conversation. Like, nearly two week long conversation. Okay, it's been a while since I've uploaded. I know. Anyway. Get through now. We can ride along, we'll just breeze past this. So getting back through this area uh, is actually a little trickier than going through in the first place because everybody's facing the wrong way and you might accidentally bump into people. So I'm going to take it fairly slow. Although that went considerably better than expected. So we have to make our way back to... not back, to... back? What? Something! Uh, to Grozny Grad. Uh, but we're not going out the front door because that would be silly. So we walk right out into broad daylight, soldiers everywhere, and they'd see. They'd see that no scientists should wear a bandana. That's that's dumb. The guys inside are just idiots. So we're going to take the uh, back door, like the really back door, like the door nobody actually knows about. It's not even a door. Snake's scuffing off his scientist coat in there. You have to like get a dry clean or something before we come back here. If we come back here, I don't think we do. I'm not actually sure we need the scientist uniform again. You can wear it if you want. Works in like really white places, I guess. Okay, outside. Now, that conversation was so long that it is now daytime. And apparently I'm getting really good camouflage in my <laughs> fucking lab coat. Anyway, let's change that. It's time to feel more like a man, not like a nerd. No Otacon. Choco Chip is good here? Okay, if you say so. It's like really good. Uh, I can't see anything. Ah, dudes, they're back. They woke up, and they didn't think anything strange happened. They're like, yeah, I just fell asleep. Whatever, it's cool. I'm sure nobody snuck in. I'm sure there's no one behind me. Right now! Haha. <laughs> so if we had walked out the front door, uh, it's possible these guys would have seen us. He probably wouldn't have, but the guy on the right would have. Maybe. Our camouflage has gotten considerably worse. I thought Choco Chip was shit. No one was listening to me. Good in a cookie, not good in a camouflage. We can do better. We can do better. We can improve him with DPMs. Come on, guy. Now, he definitely would have seen us. Because we would have walked out right into his line of sight. Shit. No, stop moving. And that's it. Good. I haven't lost my touch anyway. Yes, yeah, so we would have walked out the door and he would have been, huh? Who are you? Get back inside. Get back to work. Stop slacking off. And we'd have been like, no, and shoot him in the face. Coming back in here because I missed this. I don't know how. It was dark or something and I was in a hurry. I don't know, you guys. I got it now, though, so we're good. Gonna need it later. So we don't really have too many offensive weapons. Not that I'm using them, but sometimes they're necessary. All we've really got is the handgun. Hang on a minute. Ah, oh, yeah, why not? I've only missed like 2,000 of them up to this point in the game. I'm not actually sure how many there are. A lot. I've missed a lot. Okay. Outside. Now, that actually went a lot better than it usually does, so I'm gonna save my game. Because getting back out, um... Major, Sokolov's already been moved to the fortress. Oh, yeah. That's only what Granin told you, right? Wait, what? Yeah. He's lying? Oh, come on. No, he wasn't lying. He wasn't lying. Good job, Snake. Sure. Thanks. Gut feeling. Because the game would be really hard if he was lying. According it would take forever. Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep... According to Granin, we need to backtrack and reuse this map right. so we don't have to do any new and things. Ah, okay. I see. Near the summit. You know, guys, if you build a fortress, don't build an underground tunnel, you know, that gets you through and past all the guards. Just 
you know, you I mean, it's helpful for me now, but don't do it again. It, it's kind of dumb. What? What? Shit. That was probably important. You want to save? Yes, I do. Hold on a sec. Thank you. Snake, have you ever seen the guns of Navarone? I have not. Never. It's about a mission to blow up the huge guns on the island of Navarone during World War II. So far, so good. Six men are chosen to participate in the operation, each with his own special ability. Hang on a minute. This sounds, <laughs> sounds remarkably familiar. What are their skills? We got the explosives guy. We got the guns guy. We got the stealth guy. We got the funny guy. We got the guy who's gonna betray everybody, and then we've got the main character. What are your skills, main character? I am the main character, which means I do not die. Ah, very good. He told me to tell you how great it was. Tell him I'll go see it as soon as I get back to the stage. Yeah, I'll go see it sometime, maybe. Is it in HD? No, let's save that for later. I'd better get back to the mission. No, we're getting back to the mission. Never. More codec conversations. You say there are attack dogs? Uh, no, I didn't actually, but yes. Now that you mention it. The breed is originally Shit, Great Danes. They're like they've huge. Been used for hundreds of years as hunting dogs. As you can really? see, they're very large, strong too. Okay, I didn't think Great Danes were actually used for hunting, but fair enough. I thought they were used for transport, being so large. In some cases, a trained Great Dane can be more dangerous than a human opponent. Watch out for them. I will, and I have been watching out for them. Cause they smell your ass from a mile away. You were thinking about how they taste, weren't you? Maybe. I wasn't thinking at all. I could tell by the look on your face. can't see my face. I can imagine it. Good stuff. Don't you dare think about trying to capture an attack dog. I can't anyway. The game won't let me. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ha! You me, Snake. Like kindred spirits. Speaking of snakes, Kablamzo. Might as well make use of you. Om nom nom. Well, not you, actually. I'm gonna eat this one instead. The one that I've been keeping as a pet. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat its face. So the rest of them know what's up. And now you can join the team, Snakey. And there were dudes here last time, and they're still here. There's the dog. There he is. What's up, bro? Sorry. One more. Aw, oh, yeah. Y'all suck. Still can't steal anything from the dog. He's not carrying anything. He's not carrying grenades. This dog has an RPG! What? I'm full on you. Can you remember what the M37 is? Is that the shotgun? Okay, suppressors... Uh, respawn. <laughs> Good to know! I might come back here. Although that's a suppressor for the, uh, the lethal gun. I might not actually come back here. If I can find somewhere where Mark 22 suppressors spawn, I will be returning. I think there's actually one in the warehouse, so that would be helpful. To the warehouse. Uh oh, oh, sh oh, shit. Shit, this is the boss fight. I thought this was after the warehouse. <laughs> I'm not prepared! Ow. Stop shooting me. Hang on. Hold on a minute, I gotta check the script. This isn't right. I'm supposed to fight you after the warehouse. You know, he got that one good shot, and then the rest of them have been terrible. Laughing at a snake. Come on, do something. Get out of this cutscene and start fighting. It's in the bone. Bouncy son of a bitch. Shoot him now. Shoot him right now. Just do it. But oh, he's got his head down. Shoot him in the head. Oh, blue. Sure, the ladies love him. Maybe some of the dudes. Oh, cheers. Thanks for that. Well, it's enough to shoot me in the leg. Okay. Eventually, your heart will stop beating. I don't have a heart. Not, not a feeling death at all. 
Well, give me the antidote then, I guess. Shoot him, the Snake. In the head, right now. I will give you he put his gun away and everything. Come Shoot him in the way. dick! It is time. Gross. Oh, double gross. Why? Why are you doing that? How is that in any way beneficial? Oh, fucking invisible bullshit. Alright, first things first, we are poisoned, so let's take care of that first. Serum is in medicine. I have quite a bit of it. And now to take this out. I presume this works the same way as bullets, so knife, and then shit, I don't remember. Suture? No. Maybe? Okay. No. Bandage? No. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, okay, stiff stick, and then disinfect. Okay, good. Wow. I sutured it, and then I didn't need to. He's like, ow, that's unnecessary pain, but thank you. Time to get out a better gun. Oh, I have an AK. Oh, I forgot I had an AK. I didn't actually need the XM thing, something, something, something. Now, the reason I'm getting the, the, the lethal guns out is because the fear... Son of a bitch, and I hate—I actually hate this boss fight. Um, can replenish his stamina in the middle of the in the middle of the fight, and he gets it all back. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and knock him out the non-lethal way. We'll see how it goes. Shoot him right in the butt. I can see you. My thermal de goggles. Your invisibility does not help you. Still having to come back with the kind of old school aiming in that it doesn't really follow your camera. You see what I mean in a minute. See, he bounces around a lot, so that uses up his stamina, and I'm shooting him with tranquilizer guns, uses it up even further. But Let me take this fucking thing out. I remember how to do this again. <laughs> Knife, and then stick, and then this. Good. Okay, I got it. Because we're doing it a lot. Uh, so yeah, he uses up his stamina, and then we're taking away his stamina with the tranquilizer. So you can actually beat him very fast, but you have to stop him from replenishing it, and that's what I'm trying to do here. So I can keep him from getting any of this medicine and any of these fruits that he just knocked down. Which I have. Good. No, I didn't. Shit, I didn't get him. Ah, oh, he got so much of a bite. I tried again. We'll keep going. I've still got some ammo, but... I imagine I'll run out of ammo before he runs out of stamina. So what I meant by the aiming, uh, I mean I'm using the third person camera to look around, to look at him, but once I hit the first person aiming button, it doesn't follow where the camera is. It just follows where Snake is looking, and at the level, you know, it doesn't. there's no elevation to the look. I don't, it's hard to explain, but... Oh, he got his full stamina! Fuck this shit. Sorry guys, sorry. I'm just gonna go to town on him. Where is he? Where is he? Stop moving your bollocks. Alright, I forgot. Machine gun. I can't fucking aim the thing properly. Maybe this won't go as well as I had hoped. This is getting annoying. So what I meant is that modern gaming uh, would follow your your uh, third person camera and if you swapped into an aiming mode then it would follow where you happened to be aiming at the time as opposed to where your character is aiming. Which is considerably better and considerably faster because it really takes it out of you. Because I had the camera pointing at him but then when I press R1 I'm not pointing at him anymore. It's just, it just slows you down, particularly in a fight where you need to keep the boss on his toes. By the boss, I mean the fear, not the actual boss. Who's also a boss. It's weird. See, it's annoying. It's just, it just slows you down. It's unnecessary, and I'm glad they fixed it in modern games, but... This, should this be considered a modern game? I don't know. It's old enough now. Fuck. Let's keep my eye on the 
Oh, my God, the battery as well. So I swapped over to the handgun, mostly because I can't, uh, I can't hit him with a machine gun. Okay, so he's eaten a poison uh, food source. I think it's a, I think it's one of the uh, poison frogs, uh, which will deplete his stamina more. It should anyway. All right, there it is. Okay, so he's actually down quite a bit. I don't know. Should I go for it, guys? I don't know. I've gotten his health down now. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll go for it. <laughs> I've only got six darts left. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna run out of ammo. Hopefully, there's some in the arena. In the butt. Uh, it's not gonna help if you miss. Uh, uh, so goddamn close. Gotta find the ammo. Find the ammo's. I'm gotta keep him away from getting any food. Where is it? Nope, you're not getting any of this. Give me it. What are you laughing at? Oh, that's what he's laughing at. Move, snake! Oh. No, gotta stop him. Gotta stop him. Give me some ammo, goddammit. Where is he? Where's this? Oh, that's medicine. Nope, get to it, get to it. Ah, it's the wrong thing. Right, fine. Back to killing him. <laughs> I can't find any ammo, so it's not really gonna help anyway. I'd have to try to punch him. Burns. Okay, burns. Burns. Ointment. And bandage. Yes. Yeah, back to the killing. Where is he? Moving on me. No, you dodge this instead. I'm actually, uh, I might be in danger of running out of penguin ammo. Dang it. What's this? I keep trying to pick that up. I think I've tried to pick that up about four or five times now. He's full stamina again. So you can see, it, it's annoying. He's really the only boss, as far as I know, the, all the other bosses that I can think of are um, not as annoying to fight if you're trying to not kill them. Wait, I, I uh, completely lost him now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where he is! Okay. No. I d what? Now there's an explosion over there. I need to turn off the goggles. I'm gonna lose the battery. All right, there he is. There he is. You're not getting me. Keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him, guys. Ah uh, no! Stop moving, you big dick. Fucking bouncing bastard. No, you dodge it. Actually, don't dodge it. Just stay there and let me shoot you. This static is not helping. Old balls technology. This boss fight is going super well. I'm clearly a pro at this. Oh, I'm actually fairly low on health. Hang on. Let's fix this. Crossbow. No, no, do not burn yourself with a cigar, snake. Damn it. Ah! Oh! Just fucking twitchy fingers. I'm pressing things. I'm not supposed to be pressing. Some of my. When did I pick this shit up? Hmm. Okay, good. So I, p I actually picked up a poison frog. Um, don't eat that, for obvious reasons. I forgot now, the food doesn't actually give you your health back, the life medicine does. I think I'm okay. I'm at like health. A little under half. I should be fine. I should be fine. Stop moving. All right, running low on the ammo. Doesn't seem to actually be any in the fucking inventory. Not inventory, arena. 
and you get poisoned again. I have no ammo to actually take him out with the stamina though, so it doesn't really matter. No food for you. And I'm out of ammo. Yeah. I am out of ammo, even. Right. I hope I can hit him with this. I can... This boss fight is not going well. And I just set off a trap. I'm okay. They didn't get me. I'm good. I'm good. Where is he? Getting more of his stamina back. Fuck you! Finally. Okay, it's over. It's okay. It's not okay, they went shit, but... One of them is coming out of his ass. Stop saying your name, it's weird. And it should be capitalized. Uh, is he gonna Michael Bay on us? Yes, he is! Shit! Dodge fear pieces. Dodge for three -er. Unless he's firing back all the tranquilizer darts I shot at him. Okay. So, since we didn't, since we killed him lethally, killed him, <laughs> as it were, uh, he didn't drop anything, so we have nothing to collect. You want to save? I suppose. I mean, I don't really want to save, because that didn't go very well, but I don't really want to do it again, either, so... After a number of battleships mysteriously sink at sea, the American government investigates and finds that the culprit is this pacifistic Captain Nemo. It's not very pacifistic if they sank those ships. The Nautilus is breathtaking. The movie was filmed in CinemaScope, and it was great to see it on the big screen. Okay, if you say so. Mmm, delicious. Calamari. I actually don't like calamari. I've had it before. Not as delicious as you might think. Even if you think it is delicious. Right, to the warehouse, finally. This time for the real time. 